Easy Mobile Site Generator comes pre-installed with 12 themes ready for you to use immediately. Now you can modify these themes, you can clone these themes, or you can add new themes of your own. There's no limit to how many themes you can actually have. Um, one of the ways I like to work is for each client I'm working for, I'll start with deciding on one of the basic themes which is going to work for, for their particular um, website and then I'll modify it a little bit and I'll, I'll have already pre-cloned that to make a new theme under, under their name. So for example, if I wanted to create the Enrico's Pizza uh, using a basing it on this easy theme red on cream, then I come to clone theme and I type my theme name in here. So I call it Enrico theme. Very simple, but it, it tells me exactly straight away what this theme's for. Click clone theme. And it tells me up here that that's been uh, cloned. So now if I go back to my themes, I have 13 themes now. And here we are, I've got the Enrico theme. I click on that. And it's already pre-set up with all the colours um, exactly the same as the red on cream theme was. So all the settings are down here. I'm going to go through in a second and explain what all these settings are for. But as you can see, it's easy to take an existing theme, clone it, and then apply your changes to the clone theme. That way you keep the standard themes um, set up already and you, you can reuse them as many times as you want. Now, if you prefer to do it, you can even delete all the standard themes and set your own themes up with your own colours and everything like that. There, there's no need for you to keep the standard themes. We just provided these for you as a starting point to give you some ideas to work from. But ideally, for your own business purposes, it would be better if you developed your own themes because that makes your sites unique, make them your sites as opposed to cloned sites of, of copies from anywhere else. Now that we've created the Enrico theme, let's apply that to our site uh, because I already created the site previously and um, then I'll explain to you where all the various settings apply to. So let's just go to the site and this one here and what I want to do now is change the theme to the Enrico theme and do update that changes my theme for me let's go back to themes Enrico theme and let me just in another browser let me just open up the Enrico website so here it is here Oh, and I forgot to change the layout of the menu. I've got, I'm still using the icon layout for the menu here. Let me just quickly go back to the site and just change the layout for the menu on that. Um, so I can explain the colours on the menus. Let me come down here and just change this from icon to vertical. So I end up with a vertical menu to update. Okay, let's go back to our theme again. We want to be Enrico theme. Um, let me just get that other browser session. Let me just refresh this page now. Um, and that's the, the layout that we've got at the moment using this and the, the various colours. So now it's got a vertical menu instead of the, the little icons as the menus there. Okay. So let's explain where these things come from. Um, so page background colour, this colour here, as you can see, is the page background. The logo background colour is this background colour up here. Paragraph text colour is this the colour of the text here, the normal text. You can set the paragraph text size. In fact, you can set all the different text sizes, but 
Personally, I don't set any text sizes. I let the mobile phone itself work out what size to use. And I really only use paragraph, standard size paragraph text and H1, H2, H3, etc. And just let the, the telephone work it out. And you find it, it works nicely if you do that. If you try messing around with sizes, you suddenly run into the issue that smartphones don't actually work in point size. They work in other sizes and you can really get a, a messy uh, display that, that works differently on different uh, smartphones if you start setting the size. By all means if you've got several phones and you want to test it out then change the text size yourself if you want to try it out but personally I just always leave those the way they are. Um, okay so like I said this is the text size. Now this here is a header uh, font so it's these ones here h1 h2 just run down there h1 h2 h3 h4 down to six standard size settings so let me just show you there that's that there so you can change the colors of that so if i wanted for instance this to be a, a blue color um I, all i would do is come here and change this to blue change it to blue there we go. and click update on that so this is just to show you how it, how it actually applies through so if I just refresh the page again now oh I remember this was in H2 not in H1 uh, let's have that blue there okay update And refresh. Yes, and so now it changes the color as we've seen. So as you can see, it's very simple. You just change colors, and immediately it changes on the site once you've changed it in the the, the theme uh, pages. So you can change all the H ones, H twos, etc. Um, coming down the menu block. That's this section here. Let me explain that to you. That's this section down here. So we're using a black background. We're using yellow for the text. We haven't set the menu size. We're using a black uh, border. Um, maybe, for instance, I wanted to change that to be the same yellow as that. So I can just copy that. Uh, copy just to make sure I get exactly the same colors. I put the same number in there. Um, set a border solid and maybe just a one around it. Uh, let's just go and update that. Okay, that's that done. So let's come back down so you can see where that's come from and just refresh our page again. And you see now we have a little yellow border. I didn't make it very big. Maybe if I make it bigger. Um, let's make it really thick. Let's make it a three. Uh, okay, let's update that. Uh, so we've got three in there. Let's just refresh that. So now you can see I've got a nice big yellow border around the, the menu area. Uh, the arrow, the light open arrow, is this arrow down here. Um, this always turns blue when someone presses on it on the phone. It's doing the same here when I'm putting my mouse over it, but it's, it's not exactly the same on a web browser as it is on the telephone. Um, if I want to change the style of this arrow down the right hand side, or if I want to turn it off, I can set it to none. And I won't have any. I can have a, a light triangle, which is a little white triangle, a dark triangle. Um, a dark big arrow, light big arrow. At the moment, I've got a, a transparent background. But if I wanted maybe to have a dark blue background, it put it in a circle in these various different colours that we've got. So you can set whatever style you want. Maybe that's what we should have. Maybe a um a dark arrow in yellow to go with the yellow text. Let's just change our settings there uh, 
And let's just refresh again. And there you see we've got the little round arrow with the black arrow inside it. In the yellow that matches our, our border colour and our text colour. Okay, this button here, this click the call button. Let's just go and see where we set that. Um, that's further down here. That's here. Click the call button. So I've set the background colour and the text colour. At the moment that's a green. Uh, let's just change that to be a some sort of orangey colour maybe. That's a nice orange. Okay, let's go for that one there. Just so you can see it change. So let's update that. And refresh again. And you see now our tap to order button has, has changed. So you can customize everything within the whole uh, system. And let's just look at it. I, I won't go, and go in and change, show you everything. Well, I could, I could go and show you maybe on the, the menu on one of the, uh, maybe on the stuffed cheese page. We have a, a table on that page. So, at the moment, that's it. That's a, like a grey colour. Um, so that comes from uh, where are we table settings. That's this grey table here. Uh, maybe if I wanted that to be a, a light blue or something like that, I could change that. Um, I could change even a black border around it. I could change the text colour, uh, the border style, the width of it, the padding. So as, as you can see, all of these settings are easily customizable just by picking what you want and you just basically change whatever it is you want to change. So let's just refresh that page again and see the, the table should have changed. Yeah, there we go, the table's changed colour. So everything within the whole system, you, you can change the colours to be whatever you want. You can set up a, a particular theme for, one, for any client you've got based on any colour scheme you want and everything is configurable. So that, that's all we need to cover in the themes. You, you saw how to change all the colours. They're all just uh, changeable by picking um, the, the colour picker and choosing what colour you want, like that, and clicking update. Once you've done that, instantly the site is updated for you. We've also shown you how you can clone the theme. So copy an existing theme and clone it so that you're making the changes on the clone theme rather than the existing theme. And you can make changes, as many themes as you want based on all these various things. So very, very simple to set all the colours and have the, the system working exactly the way you want it in whatever colours you want.